Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my end of year project pan empties. I'm going to be showing you all the things that I used up in 2022. Um, this is part two of my project pan empties. I do them twice a year, so I did one back in um, maybe like June, July kind of time, showing you the things that I used up in the first half of the year, and this is everything that I used up in the second half of the year. I've been accumulating it in my little Victoria's Secret train case here. I'm gonna be showing you everything today and giving you kind of like mini reviews on each of the products. If you're wondering what Project Pan is or what empties are, essentially Project Pan is about being, for me, it's about being mindful of my consumption of makeup, um, making sure that I'm using up makeup before I introduce new makeup into my collection, kind of making sure that I work through the rotation of makeup that I do have. Um, so I prioritize using up certain products and then once they're finished, I save the empties and I share them with you guys. So the empties are just the used up products and then I can go and recycle them after this. So let's get into it. I'm going to go in no particular order. Um, the first thing that I used up, um, that I want to share with you guys is from Mecca Cosmetica and it's the, actually the birthday gift that I received in August. My birthday's in August and this was the, um, Beauty Loop, um, birthday gift this year from the Mecca base series. It's the Mecca Morphosis Nourishing Cleansing Oil. I hadn't used a product like this before. It's kind of like a face cleanser that was like a bit oily. It felt really hydrating. It did a really good job of removing the makeup off the face. It also came with like a linen wipe, which I still use because obviously this gets used up, but the linen wipe did not. Um, I really enjoyed this. I would repurchase this or a similar product. Um, and I would definitely recommend this. This is one of the best Mecca, um, like birthday gifts they've ever done. This and this brush here that I used on my face today. These are the two best birthday gifts that Mecca has ever like given out slash like gifted um for birthdays so this is on the back it says the living lab of beauty application apply morning and evening by dispensing one to two pumps in the palms of your hands and apply a wet or dry skin gently massage into the skin to melt away makeup before makeup and impurities before rinsing with warm water so i felt like this was very hydrating it didn't strip the skin it did remove all the um makeup properly and even around the eyes when you had like mascara or something that was like quite caked on I feel like this did a really good job of removing all the impurities and makeup from the skin and just leaving it really hydrated and comfortable it didn't leave the skin feeling tight or anything it was just a really enjoyable experience and it smelled kind of nice yeah it kind of had almost like a herbal orangey citrusy kind of scent it was very enjoyable definitely would recommend this one the next thing that I have to share with you guys is Oh my gosh, this was so fun to use up. This is the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder. I went through another giant bronzer in the year. I believe this one is broken. Yeah, it was like starting to break. I don't know if you can tell, but like the hinge was starting to fall apart. I can tell that it's going to break soon. But we did pan it. This is a lot of product. This was in the shade 02 Sunny. And there were... How many grams in here? 15 grams of bronzer. This was a nice matte bronzer. It was a good warm tone. It wasn't too dark. It wasn't too light. It was just a really good affordable bronzer. I have recommended this to friends since and I would recommend it for you if you're in the market for a really affordable but foolproof bronzer. It's just a good affordable drugstore bronzer. This is probably one of the most um, affordable ones at the Australian drugstore. You can buy this at Priceline um, and it's less than $10 I believe. This is really really good. Um, the shade was a good match for my skin tone. Um, I found it quite versatile. I do a lot of my friends' makeup and I just like sanitize it and then be able to use it on other people. And I felt like it worked for a range of skin tones. Um, and it was just a good formula. It didn't skip. It wasn't patchy. I just really enjoyed it. So that was another one that I went through in the year. Um, I have a couple of face products. Let's go through these two. First of all, I used up the L'Oreal True Match Nude Plumping Tinted Serum with 1% pure hyaluronic acid in the shade 2 to 3 Light. I really, really enjoyed this. One of the most, um, like, enjoyable, kind of, like, dewy or, like, not full coverage. This was kind of, like, maybe medium coverage, but you could build it up if you wanted. Really easy to use. Um, wore well through the day. Um, it didn't become patchy or anything. It just kind of, like, wore really nicely. I really like the shade. Really good shade range, as always, from the L'Oreal True Match range, but just a really, really enjoyable little foundation um, or tinted serum. Um, you could sheer it out to be like light coverage if you wanted. You could build it up even to full coverage, honestly. It was just a really, really easy to use product, um, and it did come with a dropper, so that's a little bit more hygienic than like 
you know, a doe foot applicator or something. I genuinely really enjoyed this, um, and I would recommend this to a friend. I would buy it again. Um, although I don't think I need to buy it again because I have a bunch of other foundations going at the moment, but genuinely really enjoyed this. Um, I really like the True Match, um, line, especially in their liquid products. The concealer, I'm still using, um, the foundations I've always enjoyed. They've never done me wrong. And this one kind of had a bit of an, like, almost fresh scent. Yeah, it had a fresh, just fresh scent. It didn't smell like any particular herb to be them. There was no fruit that jumped out. I just really enjoyed this. Um, it says, all the power of a hyaluronic acid serum, now tinted. Instantly unifies and brightens the appearance of complexion. Nude radiant finish, I would agree with that. 1% um, pure hyaluronic acid pumps the skin with moisture. Smoother skin with dehydration marks reduced. I would agree. I feel like this um, did like make your skin look quite um, plump and fresh underneath. I just felt really like that this was a flattering foundation. Big recommend. The other one that I used up is the, sorry, I've got a hair on me. This is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour matte cover foundation in the shade 135 radiant vanilla. This was a really, really good high coverage foundation that I've been enjoying for quite a while. I bought this quite a while ago. This is the mattifying and high coverage long wear foundation. It goes lightweight and super natural. I found that this, you could layer it more thickly if you wanted that kind of look, but um, you could get a really high coverage um, matte finish with only a very thin layer of this product. So I found it really nice looking on the skin. It never looked too match to the point that like your skin looked parched or anything um it just looked really nice and smooth um kind of like a, this sounds odd but like a thin dried paint layer on the skin it just like was thin but full coverage it just painted straight on um and didn't add any texture didn't exaggerate anything like dryness i felt like it um worked well even over dry areas for me um i wouldn't recommend this if you had the dry skin though like if i had like flaky skin this would definitely pick up on that but um I really, really enjoy this. It says 24 hour matte finish and shine control. I would agree with that. It really is like a matte foundation. Um, high concentration of pigments in an ultra fluid texture for high coverage. So it's like a very thin texture, but it still gives that like intense coverage and matte. Um, and then it's non comedonic, you know, it's like not supposed to call pores. I don't really mind about that. I mean, I appreciate it, but it didn't break me out. Shake well before use. So yeah, I really enjoyed this one. The shade was good, especially for um, my tan self. I found it was really easy to build up um, bronzers on this and nothing ever skipped over it. Just a really, really decent full coverage foundation. And to show you how much I love the Invaluable range from L'Oreal, it's never done me wrong. I've literally now purchased another one of the same kind of formula or like range. Um, this is the Infallible 32 hour fresh wear foundation that I'll be going through next. So one has left and I've literally repurchased it because it's so good. I just have to have one of the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear kind of products in my life at all times because they're just so good. They're honestly my favorite um, high coverage like foundation product from the drugstore. It just works um, and it's never let me down. I wear them primarily for like clubbing, um, every day if I feel like it, um, but my favourite thing to wear them for is a cheerleading competition. It's never let me down on the cheerleading competition floor. Next, I have a pair of falsies that I used. Don't know where they are now, but they're Colourpop falsies in the style Shorty. I have really been enjoying the Colourpop lashes. Um, the best pair of lashes I used this year were probably Colourpop ones. I just really enjoy the price point and the styles that they have. Um, really nice flared lashes, um, really nice wispy lashes. They look really nice. Um, they don't look chunky or weird or anything. They just look very, like, fluttery. You can get chunky ones if that's what you're into. I want, I really like this vibes. And they gave me this vibes. Um, Shorty was one of the pairs that I tried and I loved it. Um, here is another foundation that I used up. I went through quite a few foundations, um, but I always do. This is from Makura Skin Science, um, which is Aldi's home brand. Um, Aldi is like a supermarket here in Australia, by the way. Um, it's in other countries as well, but we have it here. Um, and this is the Caviar Long Lasting Coverage Foundation and Concealer. This is hypoallergenic and dermatolo dermatologically tested. I don't know why I stumbled on that so much. So in the top here, it had this cute little lid and inside there there was concealer and then in here was foundation now i wore a shade um called 110 ivory and i feel like it was a little bit light for my skin tone but through using it i ended up like liking it and found that it worked it smelled 
like the Liqueurous Skin Science Caviar range. Um, I have the day cream and night cream of this and I've really been enjoying them. They're literally one of my favourite moisturisers I've ever used on my face ever. It's just so plumping and hydrating and enjoyable. Um, and the foundation, I didn't feel as much skincare benefits, but it's supposed to have them because it's from the same range. I wasn't blown away, but I will say that I really did like um, the coverage this gave. I did find it long lasting. This was a little light for my skin tone, but I was always able to bronze it up. Um, and I have no complaints. Would I repurchase it? Um, no, just because I felt like this scooping motion wasn't the easiest when I could get something a little simpler like um, this or just a normal regular pump. 